uh, Kevin Essig. I'm a junior in BAE in the Ecological Engineering Concentration, um, and I'm a member on the Fountain Wars team for this year. The Fountain Wars, it's a design competition um, where we design a fountain that has to complete both aesthetic and a technical task. Um, this year it's a rubber ducky race, so we have to get a rubber duck to travel on the outside of the fountain, and then it has to jump over an obstacle. We start with basically just a big brainstorm of coming up of everything that we can think that would solve the problem. And then after we have all these ideas, we start just designing it and seeing what works. And we found out very quickly a lot of things don't work. So it takes a lot of time to just figure and find something that's like consistently working the whole time. My name's Joseph Hanks. I'm a junior in the BAE department. I'm in the ag concentration. And I'm the accountant of the Fountain Wars team. We had our two hour build period in which we took everything out of the boxes. We went through the build period and got everything constructed and then we had a 45 minute period where we could adjust and kind of fine tune anything on the fountain that needed to be fine tuned for its performance. One of the requirements for the um, competition in order to gain the points for the aesthetic task is that you have to have at least five um, nozzles or jets that are changing direction. Our method for accomplishing this was using a tractor um, with one nozzle centered um, perpendicular to the um, rotation point so it would spin, but when we went to turn it on, we weren't getting enough pressure to actually turn it, which was strange because it worked back when we were testing it at school. So our quick solution to that was to just cap one of the lower pipes and that built up enough pressure to spin them. And as you saw when Dylan turned them on a couple seconds ago, they, they are very functional now. What they're looking for is something that not only meets the requirements that they gave us, but takes a little bit of creative liberty with them. Um, a lot of points are rewarded based on meeting the requirements, but there's a lot more that can be rewarded for being more creative with the design and not just thinking inside of the box, but thinking outside of the box and doing so economically. My name is Grayson Averett. I'm a rising senior and this was my first year on the Fountain Wars team. I wanted to get involved in more extracurriculars, specifically with the BAE department and the Fountain Wars team just kind of drew me in because it was a small group and very personable group. We had to choose a theme and we were given three options and of those three options we chose Texas agriculture and so we chose to kind of display that in the center of our fountain. We have a sheet metal cutout of Texas and on that we have some fake grass as well as the major crops of Texas which include cotton, wheat, rice, <laughs> and then we also had some cows on there because cattle is a big part of Texas agriculture. We also had some windmills which um, display the fact that Texas is big in wind energy. This year there was only one technical task, but I think the bigger challenge was um, kind of learning how to work in a larger group. We work together really well and I think one of the biggest things that helps with that is we all have something that we're good at. Um, there are a couple people who focus more on the aesthetic portion, there are a couple people who focus more on the technical portion, and then there are a couple people who got deep in the weeds on the electrical portion. With special this year that we're actually able to come and compete in Houston with other teams, so we're actually able to see the other teams design. Um, and it's really impressive how we all found different solutions to this problem. I've definitely enjoyed meeting and seeing people from other schools, as well as gaining stronger relationships with some of the professors from our own department. Um, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, all the way up through a senior, um, this is a great place to be and it gives you the chance to kind of interact with other engineers, not just from your school. Um, there are representatives here today from Iowa State and Oklahoma State that we've had the opportunity to kind of mingle with compare designs on and kind of whose brains work similar to ours who have completely different ideas than ours and it's a very good experience both culturally and from a technical standpoint.